Right, hello everyone and welcome back to MissionChief.com. So, you guys really like your Mission Chief because it's only been, um, it's only been, what, three days since my first uh, video went up um, to when I'm recording this and it's had over 500 blooming views. So, uh, I guess we're doing this now. Um, so, we're here. I've wrapped up the difficulty by setting the mission speed from normal, which is one minute uh, to fast, which is every 30 seconds, which is pretty unforgiving. So, we've got nine emergencies that need answered, one's already on the go. And since the last time you've seen me, there's been um, quite a lot of extra buildings added, so stuff like crew toll fire station and uh, a few other things. I can't actually remember exactly what's been added since the last time. Um, but anyway, we've already got units making to the industrial fire and um, we will we will get ready to do the rest of the emergencies. Now the one thing I will say um, is that missionchief.com is having a few issues at the moment so this may or may not be as long a video as normal but we'll see how we get on so first thing to deal with is a writer now the other thing you'll get to see is I've set up a whole bunch of things so you've got fire service response police respond at uh, uh, ambulance response with um, a kind of joint fire type thing um, so whenever there's somebody trapped under a tree that's really the only call I've seen that requires both um, it sends one fire appliance and one thing same there's a joint response between ambulance and police and this is all the police call outs this is specialist groups which I've not quite set up yet and this is individual groups at various stations so rioter on the A1 so if I just click that does automatically. So the nearest vehicle is a Police Scotland Connect at Trinent. So it's on the way. We've now got a nosebleed. So let's go. Uh, metal Burglary. Is this the one that's here? So we'll get a police response to that. Building collapse. Ooh, this is major, but there's no trap people. So if I click on Major, I'm not going to be able to do it because it lacks two ALPs, uh, one officer car, the hose tender and the two heavy rescue vehicles are all deployed, I think. Yes, so it means we'll get that. I suppose it's a building collapse, so we'll probably get urban search and rescue and command support maybe get breathing apparatus to the scene as well. It's going to take up quite a bit of our units. Tree on the road, that's a minor fire service response. Tree on the bikeway, that's also a minor fire service response. Basement fire, uh, we'll get three fire units out to that. Asthma. So yes, by having uh, by having these little groups set up, it means I can just quickly get things up and going. So bale straw fires only one pump. That's only minor, and that's it. Everything has been dealt with. So since uh, the last time um, I played this, there has been an update which basically um, it's added a new call out, which is a thing got a concert which is held in stadiums now there's a slight problem with that because um, I've defined stadiums to be any sporting ground other than, as rather than big um, stadiums um, so I tend to get concerts happening in funny places like let's let's see where this one is concert in well, Tynecastle Stadium, okay, that's fair enough. But I've had it before, I had one in a, a bowling green. <laughs> so uh, you see it here. I just uh, was assuming that it was my crap internet, but um, there's quite a bit of lag going on. Um... <laughs> what? Um, 
Yes, yeah, so there's quite a bit of lag going on in the game just now. Uh, I think they're trying to do some updates and it's causing a little bit of difficulties, but it'll get there eventually. So yes, um, as you can see, the concert call-out requires seven police cars, two fire trucks, I'm not all too sure why, um, and an ambulance. And if I click on... It for more information you see it's it starts so you've got to have all the units in place by when it starts and then it lasts for three full hours so it is a massive tie up of resources and of course it only gives you 5,000 credits so pittance really compared to stuff that can be dealt with pretty quickly um, so yeah that's not Cute. So basically, um, there is a sl uh, there is a way to get around um, the call out. Basically, if you don't have all of the resources in place when the concert starts, then the call out is cancelled. Um, so because I don't have enough to be able to spare that many resources. Um, and the fact that it takes so long, and the fact that you don't get like effectively any money for it, um, yeah, I'm pretty much just ignoring them for the time being, which is actually um, quite. It's actually the realistic way of dealing with it because um, I don't know if other police forces are the same, but certainly in Police Scotland. Um, their website do do have a, a big banner that says uh, to um, kind of events and concert planning people make sure that you have the resources in place uh, from private security arrangements um, as far as is physically possible before you try and get the police involved because obviously the police time is pretty precious so yeah we got a new call. <laughs> um, call, 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 call. We have a seizure. Uh, here we go. Lag. Uh, A1. So reasonably far away. So we'll send closest available ambulance, which will probably be coming out from the Preston Pans depot. Which is actually kind of funny because even though it's as a crow flies literally the closest major road, it's going to have to go all the way down to the junction and then all the way back up. It is a little bit meh. So the industrial fire is being dealt with, so this I think is one of the most, this and the building collapse is the most serious ones that we're dealing with. Uh, an ambulance is needed for this call, is there an ambulance going? No, there actually isn't. Surprising, I kind of thought there was. Okay. <laughs> Tree on the bikeway, that's that's not really anything. Oh, uh, right, somebody needs to go to hospital. So one of the other things, um, when you have your settings as um, generating calls as fast as I do, you will tend to find that you absolutely chew through hospital space. So I have 31 spaces in my hospitals um, and we've actually completed the building of our emergency departments so Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh I think you maybe get like more money for sending it to something with the right um, place I don't actually know and we've got two things starting to filter through so parked car accident we'll just send police in fact actually I might just make it roads policing because that makes sense and a bulk trash fire, so that's minor enough that uh, we'll s one pump from Marionville will get sent out. Yeah, I get the interesting... Ah, okay, so both of these were already sent out. Ooh, I might expand here, actually. Because I think all my other ambulance depots have three, so basically, the way... Um, 
the way this seems to work is um, your first extension only costs you 10,000 credits, then your second extension costs you 50,000, and then everything after that is uh, 100,000 credits, which is the length or oh, the, the amount of credits you need to start a whole new fire station um, and police station. I think ambulance station is a little bit more... Expensive. Let's just see. So, fire station is a hundred thousand, and police station is again a hundred thousand, and an ambulance station is two hundred thousand. So, it's a lot more expensive. Ha! Right, fallen person. Ooh, we have no more ambulances available. Oh dear. Well, looks like we'll have to send the police to give rudimentary first aid until such a time as we have an ambulance. And in fact, let me just. Let's go ahead and expand a bit. So we will expand the Press and Pans Ambulance Depot. So we can now fit three vehicles, so we'll get another ambulance, which is all we can buy for here. We will quickly change it to do the naming convention. So SAS, it is the East Depot. And Usual boxers are pretty common in uh, in Scotland. Good old-fashioned puggos. So let's make it a puggo. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So this fallen person requires an ambulance, and it doesn't have one. So we'll get EO3, which is the East Preston Pans Depot, and that's our debt worth. A new call. Waste bin fire. So yeah, it's nice It's nice and easy to manage now that you just have this little grid to assign people to, which is pretty, pretty cool. It doesn't work for more advanced stuff. It could if I set it up, but I don't have it set up. So let's just see how everyone's doing. This industrial fire, so uh, industrial fire, kind of not really in an industrial place, but sure, whatever. <laughs> um just about dealt with metal burglary and lethal docks that's in the process where's the collapse building what the heck is that oh next to muscle Burr race course okay so we've got some ambulances pegging it there you can hear all the units uh, all that squawking you're hearing is uh, all the units saying that they're done <laughs> They're done with that call, right? So, um, ooh, new call. Acute asthma attack. Okay, so we've got an ambulance spare. Central division is two minutes away. This is good. So, what else have we got? Basement fire. Oh, okay, so it's next to the Royal Blind School. Hmm, oh dear. An ambulance is needed. Apparently the British Red Cross are the ones who have been notified to go to that. Which is fine because the fire service will be providing basic first aid. However, it's telling us that we need a battalion unit. So we'll send, it's in the middle of Edinburgh, so we'll send the Edinburgh officer. Let's alert. Now building collapse. So most of the units were tied up with the industrial fire. So we now need two ALPs. So we'll get both McDonald Road and Toll Cross ALP units. Uh, and we also require one heavy rescue vehicle. So far it's for a building collapse. So I'm going to get, yeah, heavy rescue unit makes sense. I could have had that or the incident support unit. Right, okay, so that's that dealt with. Ambulance is on the way there. Everything here is minor and being dealt with. And we'll get the shoplifting assigned to a police unit. Uh, Bonnie Rig Incident Response Vehicle. Okay, alrighty. So basically, um, my next step is I could do it with um, another... ALP 
station. So I could expand upon uh, Toll Cross already has an ALP. McDonald Road has one. Crew Toll doesn't yet have its ALP in. So I could go ahead and build the station at Site Hill because that gives me an extra fire appliance as well and quick access to the ladder platform. So Site Hill's fire station is... Where the devil is it? Here it is, I think. Yes, yes, I got it. So let's go ahead and build this. I can't remember if we actually cover... Um, I can't remember if I covered building stuff in the last episode, well the first episode, the only other episode of this series that exists on my YouTube channel. Right, so fire station, let's name it. It is Site Hill Fire Station and the start vehicle is going to be a Type 1 motor, so let's go build it. So that might actually open us up to 11 calls, although actually it's not quite done that as yet. Um, a little field fire requires two units. So we'll get them on the way. Oh yeah, right, okay, you f I forget you've got a zero second response time. So the thing I need to do... <laughs> See how often I've been on Mission Chief. So let's go to Scottish... Uh, fire and Rescue Soivus. And uh, your area. So we're basically just going to find out what the um, operating uh, local stations. So let's see. What is Site Hill Station? Uh, in Edinburgh, it's going to be number four, I think. Site Hill, yes. Site Hill is number four. Is that crucial? Yeah, okay. So let me just double check what Site Hill Station actually has in it. We made it, so we may as well have a look. Um, yeah, okay, so it's what I thought. So it's got two pumps and one height appliance, which we're not really going to be getting just now. Oh, we've got another building collapse. Oh, dear. We'll deal with the brush pile just now, shall we? No, we'll leave the brush pile, actually. Um, so we'll do what we can of a major response for the moment. Actually, it's not too shabby. So 10 units from various emergency services are going to that. So as you can see, you've got Police Scotland, Fire, Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, uh, more Police Scotland, ambulance, a few ambulances. Pickpocketing, we can get the police to that. And apparently there's still enough units left over to be assigned to the brush pile, which I still have absolutely no idea what it is. Um, right, so what... Uh, I forget now. What did we say Site Hill was? Four. Site Hill was number four. So, once again... Again, let's set the options here. So, zero four one, which is Scania site heel, and a sixty second start delay. Okay, nope, no, that's not sixty. <laughs> I'm saying sixty and typing thirty, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, okay, so we've now built our fire station here. And we can't expand it yet because there's not enough credits. Uh, bin fire. Let's get a... It's in Wallyford, so that's a little bit out of Edinburgh. It's actually at the, uh, the park and ride facility that they have here. We've got an accident with a parked car. So, in fact, let's just take a check and see if roads police... Yeah, roads policing is available, so we'll get them alerted. Okay. 
So basement fire is being dealt with, but it's still in need of an ambulance, so it's still waiting on the British Red Cross arriving, but they're only a few seconds away. So, we've gone from things looking quite calm. This has been renamed, but I might need to... Okay, so with these bugs, let me just reload the page and see what we've got. So, let's see. Yeah, here we go. So, the name change has been made. So, ooh, transport is needed. Okay, um, let's process the transport wish. We'll just send him to the closest hospital. Because it doesn't have the specialist place that's needed. Uh, right, we've got ooh, a burning car. So, that's an intermediate level job. So, the way I've set it up is minor is one... Um, fire appliance, intermediate is two fire appliances and the police major is 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 something a lot more. Uh, acute asthma attack. Um Pepper Mill Central Station. We'll get them deployed. So actually I'll I'll give you a wee look actually. So it's our alarm response and regulation. So this is how you set it all up. Um so we'll look at major for fire, which is column number one. So we'll have a wee look. And I've set it up to have three fire trucks, two battalion units, which is basically the officers' cars, two ALPs, uh, of which there's only two available, but that will hopefully change, hopefully before this episode's over, uh, three ambulances, two heavy rescue vehicles. Again, I've actually only got two. The high-volume pump, which I've got based at... Um, I've got it based at McDonald Road, um, but actually, in fact, the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service as a whole only has one high-volume pump. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then two police cars to help with the road. Okay, so that's that. So we're only at 4,000, and I need approximately... 20. <laughs> oh no, why am I sending an ambulance to a tree fell <laughs> it fell on the on the road? So let's uncheck that ambulance and get the fire service deployed. So the other thing this does is uh, without having to constantly have to search through all of these to see what's available and what's not, I can actually see what's ready. So just by a quick check of this, I can tell you that there's zero fire appliances available. There are two ambulances available, but there's less than three. And there are also two police vehicles available, but not three. So if I go and actually check that the long way, that backs up. So it's it's kind of it's kind of a neat way of setting it up. It certainly makes the game easier to do. Oh we are on to eleven calls. Okay. That's fine. We can deal with that, maybe. Um, how are we doing here? So we're waiting on ALPs arriving. So they're just crossing over. Wait, what? Wait, what? That's a footbridge. Oh, no, no, there is a bridge next to it. Okay. I was going to say. Because I, I, I know Musselboro. This is um, this is a bridge that exists. That's a footbridge. That's a footbridge. I can't actually remember there being another one here, but this is kind of a different part of the place than I'm used to. Looks like we've got a whole bunch of vehicles free. Good, 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 good. Things are progressing. We just need to get paid more. <laughs> Oh, no emergency. What do we got? A bale of straw fire. Uh, that's very minor. So we'll get uh, Libertin's pump. So Libertin is one of the stations that I added. Um, so because uh, as part of our alliance, and you remember the alliance folk from last time, all those grey boxes, <laughs> all of those grey boxes um, are people in the alliance. Um... Because I am in charge of the resources in Scotland, I decided to um, get a hazmat unit, which is based currently at Crew Toll Fire Station, and a command unit, 
which is based at Liberton Fire Station, um, ahead of when I need them. Uh, basically, you need them... I think it's like after 14 fire stations and then 17 fire stations for the command unit. But I've got them ahead of time so I can provide backup to serious um, incidents. Oh, somebody's trying to talk to me, but we will deal with them later because I'm doing a video. So, build and collapse. How much do we get for this? I also discovered it's quite useful. Uh, it's, it's difficult to get to, but... Oh. Ah, right, here we go. Help for this mission. So, average credit, 7,300. So, that, that kind of shows you the um, the difference between the things. So, this is something that's over in what, well, it's just started being dealt with. I suppose 23 minutes is, is quite a while. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, it's much, 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 much shorter than the three hours for the concert. And... I get a lot more money for it. In fact, almost twice. Twice, twice, twice the amount of money. So, honestly, I don't really think I am going to get the amount of credits I need for a second aerial ladder platform in this video. Which is a bit unfortunate, but yeah, such is life. Such is life. We did get a brand new station, which is pretty cool. Brush pile, so that's nice and small. So we'll just assign that to who we got assigned. Toll Cross's primary pump was assigned to that. How much did I get for a, a brush pile? 700 credits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so everything is ticking away. So there's another building collapse over here. Mm, another emergency is coming in. High volume pump and incident support are coming. Hmm. Oh, actually, you are being dealt with. That's fine. That's fine. So as you can see, when you have the um, the mission chief ge uh, incident generation on 30 seconds, it's pretty relentless. Um, as soon as an incident is dealt with, you've got to send it somewhere else. But I suppose it's good for making videos. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just see. Ah, everything's under control. It seems to be a good day because there's no events, which means there's been no major kind of national level incidents and nobody in the Alliance is requesting assistance. So that's pretty cool. So in the um, last episode of this, I had somebody asking about the red lines which show where the vehicles are going. So the way you get those is uh, in your answering point, and I've got my answering point in a fictional location. You just click upon it, and then settings. You've got a whole bunch of settings, and show vehicle routes on the map is the setting that you need to click and it will show you the red lines of where all your vehicles are going. For example, where is this guy going? Somewhere in Mayfield. I don't actually know where this is. But it must be a walker that's uh, come into difficulty. So let's just see. So this is the one that's at the park and ride. The field fire. Ooh, where is this? So there's a field fire in a housing estate. Okay. It's maybe a little bit flawed, but let's not read into it too much. Somebody got their wallet stolen in a camping ground. That's also not good. Uh, bin fire, we've looked at, we've looked at that one. Tree on the road, where did it fall? What the heck is that? Uh, ah, okay, so this is this is the meadows, actually. Just off the meadows, um, it's gone. I used to live. I used to live around here. <laughs> I haven't lived there in a few years though. Um, 
Yeah, tree on the road, that's fine. Let's see what else we've got. Bale of straw fire. So this is one thing that kind of annoys me, right? Um, you, you would think that whenever you have a bale of straw, it's probably going to be in countryside places, whereas this bale of straw fire is literally like in the heart of, of Edinburgh. So this is Edinburgh Waverley train station here. This is Princess Street, the big long shopping street that's here. And then if I go down the roundabout and then along just a little bit past the park, sorry, we're kind of starting to see a wee bit of the lagging issues. You basically come to the... Where is it? I've got lost. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, you come to the Bale of Straw Fire, so Edinburgh Waverley, and then, yeah, no. <laughs> so that's the one thing that kind of annoys me about that. I've got no idea what... I actually... Mm, okay, let's have a look at this. I'm kind of curious to see if the description says anything. I know we check to see how many credits it gives you. 700? No, okay, it doesn't give you much. It's like, what, the, what the hell is a brush pile? I just... I don't understand what that's actually supposed to be, but yeah. Never mind. Oh, well, it's like the emergencies are coming thick and fast, and so are the lag issues. Shoplifting, let's get the popo. Uh, muscle bra is gonna come along, that's fine. Yeah, okay, so this, this is basically what I was experiencing just before the uh, this video started. Oh crap, a burning locomotive. That's a very difficult one to deal with. So we'll declare a major unit and get what resources we can to the scene. And then as soon as things become available, we'll get it going. So yeah, unfortunately the lag issues have come back. So this is probably a good time to call this the end of this episode. Uh, yeah, okay, so it can't even pathfind, it's just magically driving through all the houses. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, so something's clearly quite gone wrong, so like I say, this is something that we have experienced from time to time here. So, that'll be the end of this episode of MissionChief.com, not MissionCommander.com, as I mistakenly called it previously, but MissionChief.com. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining me for this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye!